Okay, welcome back to part two of the 3D balloon powered car video series. This one we're going to talk about the balloon column, which is basically this object uh, protruding from the top of the car on which the balloon will be attached. And notice that it is hollow. Notice that there is a rim on which the balloon will um, be held um, mostly by, by friction. So um, that's going to take a little bit of doing. I'm just kind of making this up as I go. But basically, the first thing that you'll need is simply a cylinder. Okay, now um, I'm just call up going to pull out a cylinder and um, I'll increase it. The balloons that we're going to use will be uh, 12 inch diameter balloons and the ends of those balloons are about one inch. So notice that our car right off the bat um, looks probably a little bit small compared to this car and if we were to look at this build over here it's it's kind of hard to, um, to determine just how large that car is. It's probably a little bit bigger uh, than ours. Um, I do think that that cylinder probably needs to be um, anywhere from 0.75 inch, uh, three quarters of an inch, to one inch in size. So we're, currently it's one inch in size. And if I um, hold the shift key down as I grab one of these corner selection handles, that's that's 0.75 inch right there. Okay. So I think I'm going to do like a, a happy medium. I'm going to go like right in between the two and that's going to be about the size of the of the column again we can totally resize this later if we need to you know if we make a print and we realize oops it's the balloons just flying off of the column every time we blow it up obviously we're gonna to have to make this larger but for now let's leave it at that and really it's not too much um, different I think the car is a little bit um, the car is larger here the body of the car is larger than the column but I think it's fine, and actually the, the smaller car we have, I think the faster it will actually go. Um, so we'll give it a shot. Anyway, we're going to align this perfectly with all of these shapes. Um, so we need to do that first. Um, let's group um, this axle and this axle with a body. So we need to group these bottom three shapes so that they become one shape and they'll be easier to work with in that way you can always ungroup them later if you need to modify any of them and we probably will need to do so but to group again hold the shift key to select multiple items this one this and this and then go up and hit group notice that they'll actually assume one color to indicate one shape great so now that those are one shape now we can align this shape with this shape perfectly centered Okay, so I'm going to click this shape, the column, and the body, and I'll go back to the Align tool, and we will align using this center button. Okay, so now the column is perfectly aligned with that. Okay, we may need to make the car um, taller as well, so we'll we'll adapt as we go. Okay. So let's make the, um, the car hollow. So to do that, you simply drag another cylinder out. But first, we want this cylinder to be perfectly aligned with the cylinder. And honestly, it's easiest to just simply uh, change your work plane temporarily. Whenever you use the work plane, that's always a temporary feature. I'm going to put a work plane right on top of this column. So to do that, click the work plane. And then notice that you can pretty much change your work plane. The work plane is this blue grid down at the bottom. Well, I'm going to stick it up on top of this column. Okay, so now anything that I drag out will be perfectly placed on top. Okay, and I can even change that to a different color if I wanted to. I'll make it a little bit smaller, like that. And again, we can't really align that perfectly um, until we use the align tool. I guess I can try to use the um, the grid, but it's just easier to use the align tool. So I want to get rid of the temporary orange work plane now that I've used it. So I'm going to click the work plane button again and just click somewhere and it will disappear. Perfect, right? Okay, so we want to make this a hole. Um, easy to do. First, let's align all three of those. Click this shape, shift click, shift click. 
align uh, their centers. Actually, I want to align those two first. So I'm going to click this cylinder and this cylinder, align. And sometimes you have to orbit in order to find the right way to align those shapes. There we go. Now they're aligned. Okay. Now, I'm going to make this green column longer than, or taller than, the orange cylinder, and I'm going to push it down through the orange cylinder, like that. And then, you know, it's probably at the base of the car, I'm assuming. Let's see. I'm going to have to be careful of that because we don't want this to happen. Pretend like I pull this all the way down like that. Well, it's actually going through the car. So then the air would escape at the bottom of the car. We don't want that. Tinkercad luckily supports Control Z, which are undos. Control Z once, Control Z twice. I think this is perfectly right where I want the hole right now. I'll push it down just a little bit into the body of the car. Good. And I'll make the green cylinder a hole. And then I will group this hole with this orange column. So I'll shift click that and group. Great. So there's the start of it. Okay. Now to go back to the model, we need some kind of a little lip like that. Okay. And this can be a variety. You know, we can make that in a couple of ways. And we might need to, actually. But I'm simply going to use, and notice that there's a there's already a shape kind of there for us. Um, a Taurus, a ring. I've never tried that. We'll try it. I'll take the work plane. Again, place it up on top. Place this there. Increase the size. Make it more narrow. We could have done this just with the column that we had. Push it down. I think I need to align those. So shift click, shift click, align. Align their middles, both of them. I'll make the outside ring a different color so you can see that much easier. And I'll get rid of the work plane so you can see it much easier. Okay. And I still really can't see it very well. The main thing is you want one shape to be able to melt to the other shape in this case. And I think that the plastics, they'll overlap just fine in order to do that. I think that's great. Um, if I want this tube, this ring to, to be at, aligned to the top of the cylinder, I can again click on that, shift click the cylinder, go to align, but this time align them on their tops. So I'm going to click this button and it should align them perfectly at the tops. Okay, I think that's fine probably to hold the, uh, the end of the uh, balloon in place. Pretty good. Okay, so in the next video, we'll talk about how to actually make a hole from the bottom of this out the back of the car. Okay, great.